is Karina and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the books that I hope to read this September. I have quite a list um, that is most likely I won't finish but I have a lot of hope. I am getting very excited for reading and I'm really enjoying it so I'm thinking I might actually read all of these books, fingers crossed. So the first book that I hope to read this September is Crossfire by Amanda Hawkins. So I got this book in my junior year of high school and I used to read it in school when my teacher would be like, okay, take out your book and read. And I was really enjoying it, but then we slowly stopped having the time to read the book and I put it in my locker and then I just never picked it up again and then it just stayed in my bookshelf and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna finish it. I remember really enjoying it. So the second book I'm hoping to read this September is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book for the Darker Shade of Read-Alongs live show. I will not be hosting it, but I'm very excited and I still want to join in the live show down in the comments. So I will most likely read this one. I want to put it as um, a priority. I'm very excited. I'm excited to know like Lila again and Kel and the whole world. This The first one was so good so I'm thinking the second one is even better and hopefully it doesn't have that second book slump. Mostly everyone loves this series so I'm not going into it scared. The only reason that I might be going into it a little bit worried is because I have such high expectations for it now but hopefully it meets them. Third book that I'm going to be reading this September is An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. Now this book I have been trying to read for a while. I keep, pick, I keep picking it up, putting it back down, and picking it up, and putting it down. But then I saw a video by Murphy Napier, I hope that's how you say her name, but she was saying how you just have to get through the first hundred pages because it is a very confusing uh, book and it literally exactly as she said it just throws you into the middle of the story like as if you already know what's happening it is interesting and I really like the magic system um, but the magic system reminds me a lot of the magicians the TV show I haven't read the books I'm sure they're amazing but it is so much like that it I, I think it's like a little bit of that world. It's not exactly like The Magicians, but the magic system and the fact that it's an adult book and I just, I love that show. And every time that I read like some type of magic thing and they're like doing things with their hands, it reminds me of that show and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait for season three. The third book that I want to read this September is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson, right? Yes. <laughs> Sean David Hutchinson. Uh, this book I borrowed from my friend a long time ago and I really want to get to it just so I could give it back to her. I'm not exactly in the mood for it. Um, it is about this boy and he is abducted by aliens and they give him the option to either save the world or let it end. They show him that the world is going to end and then um, they like show him a red button and if he clicks it, he saved the world, and if he doesn't, then the world ends. And it's him going through this experience of deciding, like, if the world is worth saving. My sister read it, she absolutely loved it, she's begging me to read it, my friend also really enjoyed it, and she lent me her copy, and my sister already read this copy, so hopefully we can give it back to her now. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not like not excited, but it's definitely not something I'm in the mood for. So maybe after I read a fantasy, I will jump into this one since it's kind of a contemporary. People say that the aliens don't really go into the plot a lot, so I'm excited. The next book I am really hoping to get to is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is the second book in the Jane world type of thing. I have not read the first one, but I did order it just so I could read it. And I remember me and my godmother, we were at Target and we saw it together and we both went like, ooh, this is interesting. 
Um, I really love the Jane Eyre movies, but I've never actually read the books. So this is a YA retelling of it. And it doesn't seem as daunting as the original classics, so I'm thinking, okay, if I read this one, it could be like an easy transition into the actual book from Jane Eyre. But apparently this is like based off Charlotte Bronte's novel. And she is a character in this, so I've heard. Um, yeah, I've heard some really good things about it, but I've also heard bad things. Things. They talk about the people who I've um, heard review it talk about how Jane is a very like bland character and I don't really like bland characters so I'm really hoping I enjoy her as a character. Fingers crossed. The next book. Oh Jesus Christ, I almost killed my dog. Are you okay? Oh, did they? The next book that I'm hoping to read is The Popular by R.F. Quang. Quang? Quang. Oh my god, I'm so bad at things. So this book, I'm really hoping to do like a reading vlog on it. I've heard really good things, and I've also heard really bad things. Um, most of the people that I uh, trust with, with opinions, and when I say trust, I don't mean like everyone else on Work to Design. I'm saying more like we have similar reading tastes, so I trust their opinion. Okay, just making that clear. Um, but yeah, most of them like it. Uh, it's had a lot of hype, so I'm definitely going into it a little bit skeptical because books that are really hyped uh, make me scared. <laughs> like Red Queen really disappointed me, and then it's just like, you know. Uh, but yes, The Poppy War is about this orphan girl who, um, I believe she goes into an academy um, that is mostly made up of guys and she is a woman of color in this war camp type of place. To be honest with you, I don't really know a lot about the story, but I'm thinking like, hey, if I go into it a little bit blind, I'll enjoy it. So yeah, I've heard that it's very, very good, and I've also heard that it's very, very violent. And after reading a certain page in An Unkindness of Magicians that left me very disturbed, I believe I can read this pretty easily. It is quite a thick book, although I do love that it's like so tall and the pages like, you know, fill it up. Also the thing is backwards, wow. But yeah, um, this is one that I'm really hoping to get on just so I can do a reading vlog on it and a review so I can talk about it with you guys. Another book that I'm hoping to get to this month, I don't have yet, but it is in the mail. And that is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. There's a read-along going on with Pierre Ford and Little Book Owl. So I'm hoping to join that live show and the discussion. And then they're going to do one for God's Grave that's also in the mail. So yeah, I hope I get to that one. It is also in the mostly priority category along with A Gathering of Shadows. The rest are just like really fingers crossed. So yeah, a lot of books. Um, if you're looking at this, you might be thinking, oh, that's not a lot of books. For me, it is. Uh, this summer, I read about seven books in three months, and normally I read, like, three books a month. I'm not a very fast reader, but I'm feeling like, I, ha I have, like, a good feeling about this month, and I'm feeling like I want to read, like, constantly. Like, I want to pick up a book, and I, like, I want to read at least 20 pages. So, yeah. Hopefully I get to it this month. I'm really excited. I like I feel like reading and I feel like I can finish Maybe not a lot of them because it's like You know still early But I don't know fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, that is all for me today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below If you want to become my friends all of my social links are down below as well and that is it for today. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Oh Jesus.